Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. Now this is a Lorraine 155 Mili 51, the tier 8 French SPG. And we're on the Westbourne, or the Eastbourne, sorry, I should say, actually, of Westfield. <laughs> I always get the East-West confused when it's on this map. Um, and it's being driven by Twisted Tracks. Now, she's got a mark of excellence on her barrel, uh, so she doesn't know how to handle this arty. And she did actually make a comment to say that there was some very bad language in chat. So we'll go straight to uh, the battle. Now the great thing about the Lorraines is that they're built on the chassis of a Lorraine 40T tank. And the thing is it's very fast. Very fast. So you can move about the battlefield very quickly, reposition, get a better angle. Uh, and it's also is pretty good for drive-bys. Okay, it's only got a 155mm howitzer, but uh, it's fairly accurate. Um, doesn't do a whole lot of damage every time you fire it, but you can at least get the shell where you want it to go. But the best thing about it is the mobility. Right, Scorpion G, we're getting a request for fire. Uh, so the crosshairs above the Scorpion G. Somebody's seen it and said, we need a shell on that. So he's zeroed in where he, she thinks it is, rounds out. But we don't see any results from that, so we don't know if it hit. But since it's a 155mm howitzer, the reload's fairly fast. Okay, looks like she's going to go for the badger next. Trying to work out where it's going to go. That's it, round out. Oh, tracked him! 154 hit points, four critical hits! Four! So she not only damaged his track, she actually tracked him. Immobilized him. Very nice. And I suspect he's burned his repair kit. In which case, if she tracks him again, she might be able to uh, keep him there. Now, she's using premium ammo as well, which means she's going to have a better blast radius. Rounds out. Oh, that was a big hit. 460, well, 205 hit. But she's got 460 um, stun assist off that one. And that badger's really hurting right now. He's lost half his hit points already. And the mouse is coming down to help. This is a tier 10 battle. She's hitting top tier tanks. And that means she's going to pick up a lot of XP. Okay, there's the badger. He's side on. And the mouse is with him. And that's the last of the premium ammo gone. But she did pick up 220 hit points. And picked up some stun assist as well. Right, object 257, sitting up on the crow's nest. Waiting for him to come down, rounds out. Oh, it just flew right over the top of him. That was bad RNG on that one, I'm afraid. It flew right over the top. Oh, if only that connected, that would have been a lovely hit. Right, we've got a 251 and a 1390. And they're sitting at the back, poking the ridge line, which is something the heavy should have been doing, but... Twisty Tracks is loaded. Now, she's going to try. Yep. And she gets a good hit there on the 251. 405. Now, it means that her team are actually picking up some pretty good spotting damage because she's really laying these shells into them. She's already done 984 hit points of the actual damage and 1,040 of stun assist. Going for the 257. Same one she fired out a second or so ago. This time she does connect. 389 hit points, two critical hits. She tracked him. He's immobilized. And he's only got 176 left, which means he's going to be a one-shot kill for that Death Star. Is it a Death Star? No, it's not a Death Star, is it? Oh, it is a Death Star. Sorry. It is a Death Star. And he's pulling back because he fired and now he's reloading. And unfortunately, he goes down, but the... Uh, the 257 is taken out as well. Oh, what a hit on the Ferdinand. 341. Very good. And the enemy team are going down like nine pins. There's the AMX 30. Goes down the 251. It's, it's killed. We lose the 430. But now it's just that uh, E100. And he's just too clo uh, close to that uh, mouse. And there's the Ferdinand. I think she's going to go for the Ferdinand. It's the wise choice. 
It's a very narrow aim. Oh, hit the ground ahead. Yeah, the problem there, I think, is the fact that uh, he's in that dip. And that makes it problematical to get the shell in. But now she can go for the mouse. The E100 is out of the equation. So she can now put that HE where it uh, needs to be. Right on top of that mouse. Rounds out. Oh, lovely sizzle there as the high explosive round goes off against the hull. She picks up uh, 277 off that mouse. And he's backing off. Now he's got that Ferdinand for company still, but there's a TVP nearby. And the Scorpion's dashing down the hill. Now I wonder if he's trying to get up the other side so that when those tanks do approach the uh, cap, he can get a better uh, angle across the uh, valley. And I think, uh, yep, Twisted Tracks is going to do the same. It's a smart move. Plus, of course, that Bulldog's coming right down behind her and she was seen so she was right to get away she needs to get behind some cover quickly go through the village i would actually go straight through the village i wouldn't go behind i'd go straight through but she's dashed into the trees that should be enough for the moment just needs to back off a little so she can get the uh, bush mechanic to work oh what happened there i think that was an ac accidental discharge there now, going for the Ferdinand. Luckily, the TVP's going to spot for her. So they're still going to see these tanks. Oh, we've lost them. I think they've gone beyond the ridge line. There's the Ferdinand. Oh, he's gone down. The mouse has gone temporarily unsighted. I think he's over a ridge line. There's a Pershing. We can hit that. But he's now moving and is a fair distance away. Mind you, I think he's going to stop in a second. Yep, to shoot. Rounds out. Oh, he fell off the cliff, but uh, that shell landing nearby him is going to actually warn him that he is being targeted. And that SCP has got... He's hes a splash kill for anybody who can put a shell near him. And there is only one RT on Twisted Tracks' team. So if she can put a shell near the STB, she will get him. Now, she's lost sight of him temporarily. But I think she can work out where he was. The mouse is in sight at last. The charioteer moved up slightly on, well, the north side. He's moved further west. Right, he's side on. Beautiful shot for Twisted Tracks. Oh, and that's a hit. You heard the thud as it went into the side. 189 hit points this time. She's only got 130 to go. She can get the kill. That charioteer is moving up to spot. I think he wants the kill. Yeah, that might be a bit premature. Yeah, I uh, thought it was. That charioteer should have realised the mouse cannot be trifled with like that. Oh, and unfortunately, Twisted Track got some reticule burn bloom there. She fires the round in. No, it goes long. I think that reticule bloom actually cost her the, uh, the mouse's uh, hit points there. You can see the, the field of fire is right at the edge of the uh, map. And uh, the mouse moved slightly north of uh, the the edge of her field. And that caused the bloom because her vehicle moved. It had to reposition itself. Right, T44. She's going to have to move the vehicle for this one. So she has got reticule bloom again. Again, it's right at the edge of the field of fire. As he moves further south, it'll make it difficult for her. But she fires the round in and he hits the building. Well, it's demolished that building. That's one of the mechanics I would like uh, Wargaming to improve upon. So that when you hit these buildings, you actually do completely demolish them. Even the uh, ones which are um, supposedly solid at the moment. Um, they ought to be, if they're hit with enough shells, they ought to go down. Right, she can't see the mouse, so she's going to hold fire for the moment. There's only one tank in it at the moment, so that's good. She's got the TVP to spot for her, but that mouse is in the dip, so she's not going to see him until he pops up over the ridge line. There's the T-44 and the Pershing. They're in the village. Or well, the upper village, I should say, actually, not the lower one. Right, that Pershing... Yeah, I think he's probably in that bush. He's probably using that bush to spot. Didn't see any walls go down. 
I'm pretty sure he's in that bush. That's one, usually one of the first things you look for. If you see somebody moving, you look for a, a, trough, a path of destruction that uh, as they go, if they become unsighted, then obviously you know where they are. Now that Scorpion G, he's coming. He's being a bit careless coming down like that. Round out. Oh, a bit late, but it still does some splash damage. TVP will have a round into him very quickly, I think, if he's, uh, he's going to fire. But I think he's spotting at the moment, so he's hoping somebody else will do the job for him. And the mouse has come into view, but I'm not so sure. Will she get him? She's dialed in this time. Takes the shot. It lands on the ground ahead of where the mouse was. A, I can see from in chat that there are some very fruity language going on about... Uh, I don't think some of the people are very happy. Okay, she's got 10 rounds left of HE, standard HE. There are still four enemies left. One arty, two mediums and a heavy. Well, the heavy is the mouse. The mediums are the Pershing and the T-44. The arty is an FB3805 and we haven't seen him at all yet but he has got two kills so we know he's a fairly good player fairly competent now wizzy132 is asking the TVP if he's actually going to do anything well really he's spotting that's what he's there to do at the moment Twisted Tracks needs him to be there to see when the mouse comes over that ridge line if he's not there she won't see the mouse until he gets back to the uh, to the dip to the towards the um, cap. The Pershing's been spotted. He's way over the other side of the map. Rounds out. Oh, he turns away. Ouch. So she's got nine rounds left. The Object 907 is going for the cap now. The Scorpion T55 appear to be doing the same. There's the mouse. He's been spotted. Okay, she can kill him this time. it lining it up get it perfect and rounds out oh yes beautifully done all it needs is a bit of practice and you can do this twisted tracks has played this uh, RT and uh, quite a few others a lot of times so she knows how to do it she knows how to handle her RT. and here we're seeing what the Lorraine 15551 can do it's a fast RT She's going to the other side of the map really, really quickly. There's only one tank left on the enemy team. It's the T-44. They wiped out the others. The Object 907 has actually gone blue, so I think he must have done some team damage. The TVP is staying where he is now. He may be AFK, actually. That may be the reason why he hasn't moved. But Twisted Tracks has got closer. She's the other side of the railway bridge, so she can put a shot into that T-44. She's lining him up for a splash. Still needs the reticule to go in a bit more. Okay, work out where he's going to go. Rounds out. Oh, it stunned him. It has stunned him, but the, we did lose the T-55. And the T-44 has gone down to the Object 907. And that was the end of the battle. So, it was the first class tanker for Twisted Tracks in the Lorraine 155 Milli 51. She also picked up a Bruiser medal for getting at least 5 critical hits. She got 10 in that one. And she picked up a Confederate medal. She hit more of the enemy than anyone else. At least 6 tanks subsequently destroyed by other teammates. And we can see that's probably the reason why she got the Confederate. Because she actually didn't do that many kills herself. She only got the mouse. But the mouse was an important kill to get because uh, it was probably one of the most difficult tanks for the other t her teammates to penetrate. Um, so if we look at the team scores, well, she came second on damage, 2,494 hit points. Uh, but she came well down the table, joint 
third, uh, joint fourth on the uh, number of kills with only one kill. Uh, but when it came to base XP, she managed to get 1,112. Now, the reason for that is she was hitting a lot of tier 10 tanks and she's only a tier 8 RT. So it does make a big difference because uh, she did a lot of damage. She racked up a lot of XP on those higher tier vehicles. Now, detail report. She fired 21 rounds. She got 6 direct hit, 6 penetration and 8 splash. Damage of 2,494 hit points, all at more than 300 meters. She hit 7 of the enemy, but killed only one of them. Uh, but that's the important one, because she that meant she had 6 that she didn't kill. And then, obviously, that means she picks up the Confederate. Um, she, that, she did, she did uh, 1,822 hit points of stun assistance. Um, of 13 stuns um, and on a premium count she earned 46,121 credits and after ammunition resupply and of course she did use some premium ammo and I don't think her ammo uh, was actually set to um, just uh, sil uh, credits because she's actually picked up a, a charge for uh, gold there so she really needs to check that next time she's playing the game to make sure that that's set to uh, 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 credits rather than gold Otherwise, it's going to cost her a lot of money for those premium rounds. Um, and she ended up with 27,081 credits. She received 1,668 uh, XP. And it was times three for the first victory of the day. And she had a personal missions payout of 834. So she took away a monster 5,838. So that's a really good amount of XP. So, yes, there was some bad language in chat. I don't know if you saw it, but I was paying more attention to the actual battle than the chat. But some of the members were being extremely rude to each other. Uh, and sometimes chat is a very good idea just to ignore it. In fact, as an arty player, I tend to use chat to actually communicate not only my next um, um, my reload time, but also what I'm actually targeting. So I will actually fill up the chat column full of um, attacking information and reload information. And of course, uh, if you do that, there's no chance for them to actually um, uh, swear at each other. But uh, on this battle, I'm afraid they did. Uh, so better, better best ignored in this, uh, in this uh, context. Um, if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay I'll be featuring in the next video.